from the parametric equations uh, x equals to x 1 plus r cos theta and uh, y equals to y 1 plus r sin theta. From this one x minus x 1 equals to r cos theta and from this one y minus y 1 is equal to r sin theta. Now, we squaring and adding these two equations. By squaring and adding x minus x 1 whole square plus y minus y 1 whole square is equals to r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. By taking r square as common, we get r square into cos square theta plus sin square theta. We know the identity cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1, hence it value is r square into 1 that is r square. Finally, x minus x 1 whole square plus y minus y 1 whole square is equal to r square. From this one square root of x minus x 1 whole square plus y minus y 1 whole square is equal to mod r. Hence, uh, in the parametric equations, uh, mod r represents the distance between the two line points x comma y and x 1 comma y 1. If x comma y is any point on the line which passing through the point x1 comma y1, then the distance between that two points is mod r. By using this concept, suppose a straight line is passing through the point uh, capital A x1 comma y1 and uh, capital P x comma y is any point on this line at a distance of uh, all units from capital A. Suppose this is P or uh, this is P. This is equal to R units and this is equal to R units. Then this point P that means above capital A can be taken as P equals to x 1 plus R cos theta and y 1 plus R sin theta. And this point that means below the point of capital A can be taken as uh, x 1 minus r cos theta and y 1 minus r sin theta. Hence, the coordinates of the points uh, on the line which pass into the point x 1 comma y 1 at a distance of r units from capital A or uh, x 1 plus r minus r cos theta comma y 1 plus r minus r sin theta, where theta is the inclination of this line. Now, we discuss some examples on these forms of the straight line. First one, for example, 1. Write the parametric equations of 
in line. Passing through the point four comma three and whose inclination is sixty degrees. We have to find the parametric equations of a straight line. The required line passing the point 4 comma 3. That means uh, x1 comma y1 equals to 4 comma 3. And uh, inclination of the given line is 60 degrees. That means uh, theta equals to 60 degrees. Now, the parametric equations are x equals to x1 plus r cos theta and y equals to y1 plus r sin theta. Here the value of x1 is 4 and theta equal to 60 degrees. That means uh, x equals to 4 plus r cos 60 degrees. That means x equals to 4 plus the value of cos 60 degrees is half. That is r into half that means r by 2. x equal to 4 plus r by 2 and uh, y equals to y1 plus r sin theta. Here y1 is 3 and theta is 60 degrees, hence y equals to 3 plus r sin 60 degrees. Therefore, y equal to 3 plus r into root 3 by 2. Therefore, the parametric equations are x equal to 4 plus r by 2 and y equal to 3 plus r root 3 by 2, where r is the parameter. Now, we discuss another example, write example 2, find the equation of the straight line in symmetric form in symmetric form having slope minus 1. and uh, passing through 1 comma 1. In this example, the required line slope is equal to minus 1. Slope is equal to minus 1 means uh, tan theta equals to minus 1, where theta is the inclination of the given line. If tan theta equal to minus 1, minus 1 value is uh, tan 135 degrees. Already we say that if theta lies in first quadrant, tan theta is positive and theta lies in second quadrant, tan theta is negative. Here tan theta is negative, hence theta lies in second quadrant. That means theta equals to 135 degrees and again the required line passing through the point 1 comma 1 that is x1 comma y1 equals to 1 comma 1. Now equation of the line in symmetric form is therefore symmetric form is x minus x1 by cos theta equals to y minus y1 by sin theta. 
substitute the value of uh, x1 comma y1 and the value of theta here. Then we have x minus 1 by cross 135 degrees equals to y minus 1 by sin 155 degrees. Hence, uh, x minus 1 by cos 135 degrees means uh, minus 1 by root 2 equals to y minus 1 by sin 135 degrees value is uh, 1 by root 2. This is the symmetric form of the given line. Now, we discuss some more problems uh, on this concept. The equation of a line in normal form 